in this video we are going to show how we can construct the main path from the network we have constructed using science 2 software the network we have constructed using science square software has got more than 87,000 purpose out of which the main path analysis will choose few papers which will trace the evolution of the research domain which we are investigating. So the it will show you the main purpose or the milestone purpose in the evolution of the domain. So if you go through the those papers or if you do the content analysis of those purpose, we we can get an idea about how the subject or the domain has been evolved throughout the year. The main path can be constructed using paycheck software. Let us first see how does the network looks like. This is the network we have created using science square software. So we the, the net dot net file which we have created has been used to plot this this network. So main path analysis is a mathematical tool to identify the major path of evolution of a research domain that we obtain from the citation network. In order to do that, we can use a software called Pagec. Next we will see how to install Pagec software. In order to download Payak software, go to Google and search with the keyword P-A-J-E-K. Then you will get the link for downloading Payak software. So click on the link. Then you will go to the Payak network site. Then there will be a link for downloading the software. Download load Payak load download a page click on the link then you will get to this website here you can download different versions of payx software if you want to download a 64 bit pay version you just click this link so this is a zip file containing all the files required for the software so extract this is the folder containing Pagex software. Then you can double click this page page.exe file in Windows. But I am using Linux operating system. So I will be opening this page.exe file through the emulator while. In order to open the Payak software, double click Payak.exe file, which on this file has been extracted from the zip file you downloaded from the website. So double click Payak.exe file. Since I am using Linux, I will run this Payak.exe file through the emulator while. So I typed while Payak.exe. Then it will open Payak software. So this is the Payak software. Then I will open I will open the network file I have created using Science Square software. So EPCN file I will open. So it might take some time to read the file because it contains a lot of data. Otherwise, you need not require a huge computer or a higher end computer to run this software. Just currently I am running on a cellular computer with a cellular process. So this contains around 87,121 paper. So then you click network, create partition, components, strong. So this parameter you don't have to change. Just click OK. So actually what we have done is we have extracted the largest component of the network. Then 
go to operators operation operations and click network partition then shrink network operation network partition shrink network okay, here again you don't have to change any parameter just click ok then coming back to network again create new new network new network then transform remove loops a citation does not a citation network will not contain any loops by mistake if you have if if if, if it has any loops by this method we will remove all the loops then we are ready to construct the main path so go to network as i click network then click create sub network main path global search i will select standard so it has identified 129 papers out of 87,120 papers so this is the main path the main path contains this many papers we will just draw the network of the main path so the main path looks like this but it is a bit difficult to see the structure of this so go to layout we can have a different layout of the same network layout energy camera kawaii and separate components so you will get the network I'll enlarge it to, for you to see. Okay. Well, then I will take the option, mark the vertices using numbers it will show the numbers so if you just spin it around i just rotate the figure around then you can see these two are the first two papers in this domain and these are the references within so you don't have to it is not necessary to read all these paper because this is the first paper containing and all these are the reference of this paper so this was one of the first paper and this is another again an original paper in this area and then it's developed to this one this is also an original paper original paper then this area has both these paper has been cited by these two papers then this paper cites these two paper and this area was evolved according to this these are the main papers or the corner store paper the milestone papers in the evolution of this domain if you can see so these two are the re recent papers these paper this one these are the leaf notes showing the emerging trend of the domain so these paper even you can avoid reading all these papers just these papers and also these papers other purpose if you do the content analysis you will come to know how the whole area was evolved so this is the main path of the network so the advantage of this main path is that, is that when i search the uh, research articles with the keyword we got around 87,000 purpose. Out of the 87,000 purpose, they will all with them selected around 129 purpose. If you read all these papers or if you do the content analysis of these papers, you will come to know how the area was evolved. So to get the evolution of a domain, main path analysis is very useful. You can get to know about main path analysis, the basic information or the algorithm, the Wikipedia.